I'm Hugo Monnier, ex-England rugby player, and I brought my friend Jamie Lang with me to Japan to discover more about this amazing country and recce for the England team ahead of this autumn. Mako Vunapola, Joe Marler and Dan Cole are at Twickenham, and they'll be watching along with you. In the last episode, we're in Sapporo, learning about duty. We've now travelled to Osaka to discover about the Bushido value of law tea. So Jamie and I have made our way to a small district within Osaka called Han Ozono, and it's a very special place, a very spiritual place. In fact, you'll be able to see just over our shoulders, that is a rugby shrine. Who would have thought rugby was so big in Japan, they've dedicated a shrine to it. What does that rugby god look like, do you think? Do you think it would look like you, me, or him? Good question, that. So soft. Get off, man. Get off. We've come to meet a Fijian guy called Yogi, who owns a rugby-themed sports bar that has made Japan his home. Jamie, nice to meet you, sir. Hey, Yogi. Hi, Yogi, how are you? It's a rugby shrine, right? Yes. A shrine to rugby. Yeah. Hanazono has been the home of rugby for Japan. The biggest event that happens in here is the high school rugby. The stadiums are jam-packed. Teams come from all over Japan, from Okinawa to Hokkaido. It seems like there's this immense loyalty towards the sport, right? Why is that? Japanese people, whatever they do, they do perfect. There are so many schools here for rugby, so the whole schools come in to pray. Wow. The coaches bring the players, the parents come with them, they pray, because they want their children to be professional without injury. People from all over Japan come in to pray. Are we deciding on who's going to be the rugby god, best looking rugby god? Who is it? Well, best, looking. best looking, 100% myself. Out of the three of us, I got the most hair. Can I give a small prayer? Well, let's go and pray. Should we go and do yeah. it? Can you pray for anything? Anything. Because I really, uh, really fancy a girl at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually quite funny. funny. Oh, I feel good now. Feel good? Yeah, it's yeah. great. Well. Thank well you. Done. Good luck on you, mate. Oh, thank yeah. you, Yogi. It's amazing to see how passionate people are in Japan about rugby. But now it's time for some retail therapy and to check out some local markets. Oh, they're good for a sword, are they? I would have the blade facing away from you. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my word. Where, where am I going to put this on the flight? I mean... <laughs> We're now off to meet a monk at a Buddhist temple to learn about mindfulness. And this is something I'm particularly interested in, as I used to put a huge emphasis on being mentally prepared before playing rugby. And it can have such a huge impact on your performance. I love meditation. This one here, he's very stressed. He needs to have meditation. Okay, it's gonna be comfortable yeah. and uh, feel purified your body and soul. We've met so many different types of people who have dedicated their lives to a craft, and you're no different. I am famous. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the people, but people know me. Hugo is a, well, was a rugby player, and he played for England. And what you did as well, he dedicated his life to a sport, and that made millions of people happy. Wow. Made a lot of people very sad a lot of the time. Yeah, he was... when I retired. <laughs> That's when they made them really happy. I wasn't a monk before, yeah. 12 years ago. I was a business uh, person. And I started to study philosophy of Buddhism. And after that, I felt happy and I changed. I could feel it. I keep on practicing every day. And the Buddhist God make me strong. I like that. So he was a businessman, studied Buddhism, and then he just gave it all up. I've actually been reading a book lately on Taoism or Taoism. Not Buddhism. No, but it's like easy for me to read because they've based it on um, Winnie the Pooh. It's called the Taoism or Taoism of Pooh. <laughs> it's fantastic. I recommend you read it. First, you sit down. Do not close your eyes because you will sleep. You have to imagine that you have a monkey in your brain. He is uncontrollable. You have to relax now and breathe out and in. Breathe out. Okay, and breathe in. One, two. 
In that time, monkey is very quiet and sitting under the tree. When I trained, if I wasn't in control of my mind, if I wasn't in a good headspace, I knew I couldn't then perform my duties. So we keep talking about this word loyalty, it's actually sometimes being loyal to yourself and loyal to your own inner peace and actually respecting that and putting some energy into that because they always say, if your mind is willing, your body will follow. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. Do it harder, master. He's going to be out for a few weeks after that. Yeah. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Just like home, Japan has its fair share of rain. And we've taken shelter in a shopping mall where we thought we could drum up a bit of support for the boys back home. It's busy. Come on, England. Come on, England. Rosary. Rosary. <laughs> Come, Come on, on England. England. Come on, England. The people here oh, are so friendly. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Woo. You single lady? <laughs> what do you think they think when they see us walking down here? Two couple of cool cats. Definitely it's not nice. cool cats. <laughs> Where the rose? Where the rose? <laughs> Konnichiwa. Where the rose? Come on, England! He's doing a good job drumming up some second team support. They'll support Japan first, and then we'll be their second favourites. All because of these guys. Yeah. What a job they're doing. We should thank them. It's been a hectic day. Mm -hmm. Mindfulness, inner peace, mental well-being. How good are you feeling? I feel all right. My back's a bit sore. Oh. Standard. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> oh, back's a bit sore. Yeah. Let's go and have a beer. Should we go meet Yogi? Let's go meet Yogi and have a beer. Let's go and grab a drink. Let's go and do that, though. Nice to see you. How yeah. are you, buddy? Hola, how are you Konnichiwa. Yes. I think it's like okay. wall to wall of all the pictures of all the stars that have been here. There There's we the are. Monroes. It was really cool going to Rugby Shrine with you earlier today, but the other way of getting into the rugby vase... You're going to say drinking, aren't you? It's in a pub. Cheers. This is kind of like your shrine to rugby here, right? Who have you had in it? Tell us. Give us some names. Big, big Wallabies players. How many All Blacks players have been in here? I mean, so many. So oh many. And Japanese national team, almost all come here. Seen some of the legends on the wall. It's amazing actually seeing guys that I've played with and against back in England who have come and visited this place. And I guess in a few months' time, hopefully, hopefully, this will be a stronghold for the Rose Army. Yeah. And the rest of the England fans that are coming over here to support their team. Where are you going to put it? I'm going to hang it here, man, with all these balls. I reckon we'll come back and be in the back cupboard. <laughs> Another brilliant day in Osaka. And if yeah. I was to summarise it in three words, lights, laughter, and loyalty. Whatever loyalty means to you, it might be different to me because we all look at things through different lenses. But at the nucleus of all of these values, it all means the same thing. Do you just use the word nucleus? Yeah. I like to. Got a D in chemistry. Whatever. <laughs> Come on, Sorry, big man. David Ibbotson. Let's go. My teacher. Come on. Look at me now. <laughs> Next, we're off to Kobe. I think I've gone to heaven. To learn about the Bushido value of courage. Look how big this guy is. He bench presses a hippo. Look at him. 